Click the Structural Inspection tab in the Ribbon menu. From the Loads heading, click the Wall command. In the Visualization window, structural wall loads are created. In the Visualization window, open the Right Click menu. Click the Solid with Edges line. Walls and concrete elements will be visible. Coating and live loads of the base story and story 1 slabs should be arranged. From the plan view, select slabs SO1, SO2, SO3, SO4, SO5, SO6 and SO7. Right click on any selected slab and open the right click menu. Click the properties line. The slab settings dialog will open. Open the coating list in the general tab, load section. Select the tile cladding. Select the quarters, apartment rooms from the live list. Click the OK button to close the dialog. Coating and live loads of slabs will be defined. Open the Story 1 ceiling page. From the plan view, select slabs SO1, SO3, SO5, SO6, SO7. Right click on any selected slab and open the right click menu. Click the Properties line. The Slab Settings dialog will open. Open the Coating List in the General tab, Load section. Select the Roof Slab. Select Rooms under Roof from the Live List. Click the OK button to close the dialog. Coating and Live Loads of Slabs will be defined. Open the Concrete List in the Ribbon Menu Input Heading. Click the Slab Coating command. In the Visualization window, the definitions of coating loads can be examined. From the Visualization dialog, click the Loads tab. Select Purlin loads from the Load Types list. The coating loads acting on the steel purlins are displayed in the Visualization window. Select On Load from the Load Types list. The own loads of all elements will be seen in the Visualization window.